Hello and welcome to the 12 steps to Navier Stokes originally taught from Lorena Baba and in this case we are looking at step number 7 the 2D diffusion term. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded the last video so I wanted to uh, just uh, take a step back and look at what we've uh, done in step 6 and the aim is to model the 2D Burgess equation which we will do in um, step number 8 and as you can see that uh, equation consists on uh, of a convection term on the left side and the so-called diffusion term on the right side. Um, we modeled the convection term in step number six, as you can see here. So it's du dt plus u times du dx plus v times du dy equals zero and the second equation dv dt plus u times dv dx plus v times dv dy equals zero. So it's always a um, derivative in time and then two derivatives in space multiplied with the function itself. All right. Um, the diffusion term, on the other hand, is modeled like um, a constant multiplied with the second derivatives in space of the function uh, u in this case. Um, yeah, and the summation of that. Okay, um, let's take a look at the uh, slides here. Um, we see that the code is more or less given here and we will just implement the code um, into MATLAB and see what it does. Um, the basic uh, functionality is that you have this 2D function which is everywhere one, but in a special area it is two. So it's just like a little mountain here and then you will make the diffusion term happening and see what the function does over time. All right, now um, in MATLAB, we can just simply uh, state some verbal declarations. More or less, we can copy the, the verbal declarations just from here, see if that happens, yeah, well you should always practice the semicolon, okay now we have the verbal um, declarations, now we have to make um, uh, the the grid and in this case I say x equals land space from s from 0 to 2 and with step n x and y equals land space 0 2 and y all right uh, maybe I can name that grid, something like that. Now we have to define the function. And that is u equals once in and y and x. And un equals once and y and x. Well, I could set here that un equals u, but we will do that later anyway. So the initial conditions have uh, to be mapped as well. So initial conditions. Um, now I say u, and I have to specify where I want to be that um, 2 instead of 1. So I say from 0 0.5 divided by dy to 1 divided by dy. And the same thing in the x direction. Uh, 
and I made a mistake here. That should be. Um, that should be round brackets equals two. All right. Okay, now we need a mesh grid. Mesh grid is like that, x, y equals mesh grid x, y. And now just to check if I did that right here, because I'm not quite sure, um, I will just say surf x, y, u. All right, save it, run it. Okay, now we have this mountain of two. Yeah, that seems right. Just quickly turn that. It's from zero five to one. All right. Okay. Now let's implement the function itself. So uh, quickly I look back here. That's what, what what struck me. Why is here plus one? I'm not so sure. But let's see. I think it just moves the um, uh, the system a little bit. Yeah, that seems more exact, 0 0.5 and 1, as it was in my... Uh, I, I think I know what, what the mistake was. It's because of the 0, begins with zeros and yeah. Okay, um, now let's implement the function. The function itself, um, we can almost copy, but I think uh, the, the MATLAB terms are a little bit different than... Um, then the Python terms, so I will write it here. So um, after making the mesh grid, you say two for loops for n equals one to n t plus one. And there you map the solution you get, u n. You're mapping, um, you're mapping, no, it's the other way around. Um, you map the solution you get from your calculation, which come right now, um, you map that into un. So u you are getting and un is the one staying on top. That's the un is your initial conditions in the loop. Okay, un equals n and now for, now we, we're we really making the, the calculation for e, uh, i equals 2, 2 and y minus 1. So that is uh, the iteration over the y values. And we have another for j equals 2 to an x minus 1. And now the function itself, it's u depending on i comma j equals un. So the initial condition i comma j plus new times dt divided by dx squared times un depending on i plus 1 and j minus un depending on i comma j. So that's uh, the, the difference in in the i direction. Um, now we have u m i minus one comma j, and that's the scheme of the central differentiation. Put 
plus and u times d divided by dy squared. And now we have the same thing in the other terms. So it's un i comma j plus one minus two times un i comma j plus un i comma j minus one. So let me check that j plus one j and j minus one. Yeah, seems about right. There, I forgot that too. All right. Seems about it. And we have end, end. So that is the calculation itself. You have, um, you have the two loops for the rows and the columns. And after each calculation, you want to plot it. So surf x, y, u, as we used that before. And we make a slight pause that I'm, I have a chance to show that to you guys. And that's about it. Saving, running. Okay, we have some arrows in step. Uh, okay. Let me see if I do the typing mistake here. Un ij new dt dx squared times un i plus one minus un i and un i minus one j. That seems about right. New times dt dy squared un i j plus one j j minus one two brackets. All right, that's not the problem. I think we have to maybe adapt the dx here. I'm not sure if that's a problem. says that it's out of bounds. So it's trying to access an element which is not available. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, we just maybe look at the error code attempted to access UN22 index out of bounds because num elements of UN is it one. So un just has one element and 2, 2 is not accessible. So ny and x is about right. And also maybe we have to delete this plus one, but no, I have that in here too. Well, well, maybe check the um, boundary conditions again. Uh, N1, 20 plus one, yeah. UN equals, ah, here's the typo. It's not N, it's U, UN equals U. Okay. So as I said, the solution you're getting for u at the end of the calculation will get mapped into un, which is then the initial condition for the next calculation. Okay, now it should run. Ta -ta. All right, seems about a little bit strange. Okay. That's for sure not how it should look. But I will just check the formula because I think it can only be the formula in this case. Or maybe we have a, a, 
the time step problem that could also be the case maybe i will just make um, more time steps new i could say 0 0.05 is okay dx dy should also be correct and the t sigma dx dy divided by new well what i'm expecting when i run that again is the exact same error but just a little bit longer so maybe we just quickly compare that to what it should like look like so it should look like u n plus one yeah n plus one equals uh, the original solution okay so it's u n i j it's new divided by okay plus one minus one j plus one j minus one ah another typo here i comma j all right i hope that was all because else i would record the video again now let's see yeah now you have this um, diffusion scheme uh, you can yeah you can also see on the web page All right, just look at that um, here. And Python, it does not look any different than in MATLAB. But in MATLAB, the scattering is a little bit more obvious. As you can see right here. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you liked it.